Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, our trip up the Mines Mountain Path continued after a detour towards the Rosenberg Studio, where the SSS interrupted a conversation between a man in a lab coat, a green-haired boy, and the Meister, before being told to come back when we actually had business here ourselves. We then had a scare within the tunnel involving a chest full of deadly spiders, and now finally enter the town at the end of the road. Yeah. Okay, well, that's uh, Ellie's shop. And of course, you'll easily reach that. Two one wants the pest to go. And we're finally at mines. Been a long journey. I think it'll be less when we go to like Spellguard Gate because we've already done most of the route. Yeah. Best is to knock you forward. Not attack. Oh, to be honest, you can hit all three. To be honest, it's just better to maximize CP generating actions, isn't it? I'm slightly wondering how Master Courts has leveled up now. Do they level up much from this kind of fight at all? Is it better for me to fight higher level enemies? Will level them up faster? I feel there must be some extra part of the mechanic there. Okay, we're through. Nice fight To civilization once more. I only give five apiece. So, troubles in the mines, eh? Here she is, walking around. People haven't changed their positions much. They love their daily lives. Phew, it's harder to get here by foot than I remember. Noel, Wazi, are you holding up all right? All good here? Still alive, I suppose, though I didn't realize the SSS was so masochistic. We could have gotten here just as easy by car or bus. More easily, in fact. Walking makes for good training, though. It also lets us familiarize ourselves with the area. That aside, you've already built your stamina, Ellie. I still remember you getting winded on our first walk to our Morica village. I have a few certain someones to thank for that. You and Randy would always push me to the brink. Now then, sh how should we proceed, Lloyd? Should we speak with Mayor Bixen immediately? Yeah, let's make our way over. Mayor's house is the one on the far side of town, straight ahead. I can talk to everyone else first. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. Alright, check any bus sign aboard an Orwell bus. Right, I am literally going to go back to the town. Now that we've walked there. Just to talk to an NPC. Make sure that all our time and all our events haven't moved forward any dialogue, which I'm 100% certain he hasn't. But I need to make it 101%. Don't I? Yep. Cool. Good, good, good. And then we take our car back. <laughs> we get the best of all worlds, right? There you go, Noel. I'm not being mean to you now. Uh, oh, there's the cur cursor. There we go. We took the bus back to bring our car. <laughs> Eco warriors. <laughs> Holy mother of. Oh, yeah, well, see. Is there something I could do for you, my sweet Fraulein? Uh, who is this guy? He's totally my type. Already getting used to seeing this around, was he? <laughs> ah, now there's a pretty face. Wait, he is a boy, right? Well, not girl. Does it matter? 
Gans has really had a spring in a step of the minds lately. I guess he's finally come to terms with everything that happened during the cult incident. We were all worried about the guy, so I'm glad to see him doing well. Alright, let's check around and make sure we don't miss anything. There might be some cool stuff here. Welcome to Des Eagle Inn. You folks must have traveled a long way to get here. I'm sure customers are miners, so you can be sure that our meals will fill you right up. The portions are large too, so don't worry about not ordering enough. Must be hungry after coming all the way here. Why not grab a bite to eat? The menu's here as high as they come. You can be sure that our meals will fill you right up. I bet they will. Gaz lost big time in the casino the other day. Again. It's nice that he isn't complaining as much as he used to, but I swear that idiot's never gonna learn, is he? My god, Gantz. Gantz has been going bust at the casino recently, but at least he isn't whined about it as much as he used to. So how does he expect to pay off his tab if he keeps losing? Don't worry, I saw the thing that's di not only different, but also pops in. Look at that! It's not there, it's not there, not there, not there. Pop. Also says cook on it. There's Eagle Inn speciality dish. Fried fish, a classic. There's a recipe for fried fish in here. I mean, you can clearly tell that this wasn't here before. It's very obvious. And I think the popping is really the thing there that seals the deal. Right, no one's here trying to buy a big crystal. No one's in here. This is our room. It's not our room, but you know how it is. Let's go around everywhere before we go to Mayor Bixen first, yeah? Daddy used to be the bestest miner in town. That's why he's always so strict with the miners now, but I know he's just worried about them. He can be super strict, but he's really a big old teddy bear deep down. Is he now? Younger miners in town have been looking a lot more lively these days. I worried they wouldn't be able to get past all that cult stuff that went down. Eh, I guess I was threading over myself for nothing. Threading myself over nothing, sure. They knew so much about the cult stuff. I worried about how it would affect the other miners back when Gantz got mixed up in that cult. Yeah, it turns out I had nothing to fret about, though. What happened to Gantz? And Gantz, by the look of it, is just straight back to normal doing silly, stupid stuff. Let's buy this just gone back to normal, which kind of makes you feel like what? Being given drugs and like taken to a place by a cult isn't enough to stop you with your addictive personality? Then what the hell will be? You can go in. Wonder how deep. My son always wants to put himself in the most dangerous places, much to my distress, of course. If Gans hadn't stopped him this morning, I don't know what would have happened. My goodness, at this rate, he's going to get himself seriously hurt. My son has something of a curious streak. He always wants to put himself in the most dangerous places. He gets it from his father, I'm sure. But your kiddo. I still lays around at work and avoid doing my job. Now I work a lot harder, which unfortunately leaves less time for other things, like reading. So you can have this book if you want. It's not like I get to it anytime soon. Sunshine Agnes, Chapter 2. We've got Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 already. It's going to be a big bedtime story. Sometimes I still feel like goofing off on the job the way I used to. But it's hard to do that these days with how gung-ho everybody else has been about work. Guess I better start putting my slacker ways to rest. Man, I'm going to miss naps. I think I'm slacking off right now. I think again. I'm on my break so I can laze around as much as I please. Can we check the lower section first or go up this way? Gans has been so positive recently, it's a great change of pace from his usual grousing. I guess he's trying to make up for how much he worried all of us during that cold incident. Gans still drags me along on his drinking and gambling spree, so that part hasn't changed. He's my buddy though, so I've learned to accept him for who he is. Well, if we can go into that section, there'll be monsters. I'm concerned about the old mine outside town, but all we simple miners can do for now is just keep digging. Mayor Bixon and Gans can handle it. The rest of us have got to stay focused on the task at hand here. The miner's got a dig, no matter what's going on outside, the septum and he's excavating. Okay, so, uh... This has been chained up again. Mine for my wife, heave-ho! I mine for mines, heave-ho! Ah, it's another day of smashing rock rules. Wouldn't change it for the world. That's a metal pipe. Gonna buy my art today, both for Lulada and for mines. 
Do it there. Sure. Well, let's see where we can go in here. Because if we can go down here, there will be tiny little monsters. <laughs> or not. Okay. I'm always confused by this place. I guess the orbital lanterns are on. Uh, was that there before? Where are my treasure chests? Hello? There's nothing in here at all. There's a book. I didn't even see that on the way up. A magazine entitled Car Freak Volume 1 is making a pit stop on the barrel. Charming paintwork. I'm looking for chess. There was loads of chess in here the first time I came down. Now there is zero chess. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like there might be an event here at some point, but... They actually emptied this place out. I mean, we got a thing, so that's fine, but... I'm still gonna, like... <laughs> Set at the edges. Are you sure there's no chess? Ah. Oh. I mean, why would there be chess in an active mine? I guess they've dealt with that problem. I mean, at the very least, I've got a ton of collectibles. Gaz has really had a spring the step of the mines lately. Guess he's finally come to terms with everything that happened during the Colt incident. We were all worried about the guy, so I'm glad to see him doing well. I think I've already talked to you. But, eh, uh, just double check. Are oh, the kiddos yet yeah, here? The gate to the deserted mine outside the village was open this morning for some reason. I tried sneaking in, but Gantz caught me almost instantly. He got pretty mad about it, too. Dang, I wanted to go exploring. I've always wanted to take a look around in that old deserted mine, but not enough to get yelled at again. The old deserted mine outside town was once a major fixture of our community several decades ago. In its heyday, it yielded crystal after crystal of septium and great big ones of that. In fact, that mine contributed to the Empire and the Republic's constant squabbling over our land. The old deserted mine outside town has long been tapped and deserted. In its heyday, it was practically the keystone of Coswell's economy. Man, they got lots of riches out of there then when you think about Coswell's overall prosperity. My husband works in the mine. Between you and me, he's one of the highest earners, too. I'd better get dinner ready before my handsome breadwinner returns home. I'm sure my husband will have worked up quite the appetite by the time he returns home. He always does, that, after all. I'd better get dinner ready before my handsome breadwinner gets home. Okay. Is he the highest earner because of his performance base? Questions? Is it the amount you mine? The amount of crystals you manage to get? It percentage base on the overall hall. Barnes, I believe you called for the CPD special support section. There you are. Sorry to make you come all this way just for us. Long time no see, gang. Same to you. It's good to see you all again. Gantz, how have you been feeling? Oh, I'm holding up all right. No more side effects from that drug or anything. Thanks again for what you did for me back then. We're just glad you're doing well. So about this request, we heard there are monsters in one of the town's old mines. That's right, there's a deserted mine just outside town. No one's been down there in decades. It's a bit of a long story. Why don't you all take a seat and make yourselves comfortable? I'll make us some tea. Drunk on mine. Ooh. The front gate was destroyed. Sure was. It may have been old, but it was pretty darn sturdy. One of our citizens passed by and discovered it in pieces. 
but it was perfectly fine just a few days ago. Whatever happened was in the last 48 hours. This is a real piece of work we're dealing with. I mean, who the hell do they think they are? It's definitely troubling. So you want to check inside and found monsters roaming around. Can't imagine monsters keeping house inside a deserted mine. It's all that unusual. That's true, but there's more. What's strange isn't the monsters, it's the mine itself. The mine itself? Ah, uh, that's what I say. It's hard to explain, but it was like the whole place was glowing faintly. Walls themselves were pulsing with this weird purple light. Oh, that does sound strange. If the mine really is that old, then that means the light isn't being caused by some flickering orb of lamps either. But if not that, then what? It's concerning to be sure. Higher elements? I agree, but other than the destruction of the gate, no other harm has been done. Right now, concerning us as far as we're at. We know how busy you all are, so I hope you don't mind us asking for your assistance. Not at all. We understand. The gate being destroyed alone makes this a case worth investigating. Let's check it out right away. Agreed. We should go see the situation for ourselves. Roger. Yeah, sounds like we've got a thrilling new case on our hands. Thank you, SSS. We're counting on you. Gans, if you would be so kind as to show them inside. You got it, Mr. Mayor. I'll head there now. Come see me in front of the mine when you're ready. <laughs> Gans is a good old boy now. It's great to see he's doing well. It is, thanks to all of you. Now, if only we could get him to go cold turkey on that gambling habit of his too. Yeah, he still blows all his mirror on his off days at the casino. <laughs> Some things never change. Well, this is money. As long as he doesn't go overboard again, I think he should be fine. Anyway, the old mine is just outside town, right? Yes, head down the mountain a bit, and it'll be northwest of the city, directly opposite the tunnel path. I know what's going on there, folks, so please be careful. That old deserted mine was still in use decades ago, back when Crossbow was embroiled in conflict. I was told that I elders had it closed up tight after it became too dangerous to go inside. It's bizarre to me that someone would want to break into that place now. It's baffling, yeah. Head down the mountain path to the clearing outside town. Now you can travel northwest to reach the old mine. As of now, we have no idea where the gate was destroyed, nor what's going on inside. I urge you to proceed with the utmost caution. Yeah. Gans will be waiting to let you in, so make your way over once you're ready. I mean, I should be ready. I was about to say, has any dialogue changed? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Save again. We're heading into danger once more. When is it? Wait a second. Oh, I can't go that way. This looks accessible. <laughs> How have I only noticed this nail? Was this here before? I guess I'm going to say this a lot of times, isn't it? Have I? <laughs> Was this here before? I mean, this looks like it needs more of a cover. Yes, it was here before. Wow, I never noticed. Good job, me. I never questioned it or tried to get inside of it then. I'm taking down the barricades. My god, what did all that? Protective helmet. That item's used, as in, it used to be mine before you took it. Ha <laughs> ha. Two puns. I'm not sure if the mine pun was intentional, though. You got a protective helmet, Sam. The safety symbol on it. Do your safety dance, did it? Hey, there you are. Yeah, so this is the place. Yep. That's the gate that was destroyed. It looks like it was cut clean through. Sure does. I can't fathom this being done by human strength, though. Anyhow, over here we have the entrance to the mine itself. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the light, it really is there. It's not the light I'm concerned. One, this looks like a portal to Gehenna, I guess I'd say. Two, it has snarling noises coming out of it. <laughs> That's not a light. You have completely underestimated what a glowing, faint glowing from the walls is. That is more than that. The light it really is there. I'm very bewitching in an eerie sort of way. No doubt there are dangerous monsters lurking about in there. Yeah. 
How should we proceed, Lloyd? It might be a good idea to contact the Guardian Force if they can spare the manpower. You're right, calling in some extra backup never hurt anyone. No, first we should see how our things are inside. We need to know what we're dealing with. If it's more that we can handle alone, then we'll request the CGF support. Fair enough. What? <laughs> Get support now! Roger that. Alright, I'd advise making sure we're fully prepared before stepping in then. Make it sound like I'm not coming out again. And so they were never seen again. I'd say I'm mostly prepared. This is the entrance to the old mine. You can head in whenever you're ready. Man, though, you'd have to be one crazy son of a sledgehammer to bust through a gate that sturdy. No way one of the miners could have done this. Maybe built like steel, but that doesn't mean we can slice through it. I don't know who or what's responsible, but either way, you all better be careful in there. <laughs> I'll save it again. <laughs> That's one dangerous place. Yeah. Once we start investigating the mine, we likely won't have time for- Whoa, this is the end of the day. We won't have time for anything else today. Should we begin? Sure. I've turned in all the quests. I've been everywhere. I've talked to everyone. There was no new patrol when I went back, though there was a little story request then, which could have made a thing. But we're near so nearing, like, the end of a week, end of a session, so I could always do a sweep using the save file. I say we continue on for now. I've always got the, the save in between, and I can make sure that I haven't missed anything. Because you don't want to miss anything in trails. Let's take care of... No, let's step in the old mine. We're ready, Gats. We'll start by giving things a quick once over inside. Do you mind waiting here for us? No problem. Be careful, guys. If you think it's too dangerous in there, come right back. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. The higher elements are definitely in play here, by the way. There's no way there's not. Take a look at that. This is definitely not normal. They weren't exaggerating about the ground and walls glowing. There's also the strange feeling in the air. It feels heavy somehow. It could be that there are some traces of miasma inside the mine, which means the higher elements may be present among us. What? Why see, how could you tell? Y yeah, I'd expect Tio to say something like that, but not you. I'm not as perceptive as she is, but I do have something of a sixth sense about these things. So, what do we do now? My intuition says that investigating further in will most definitely be dangerous. Maybe so, but... What? What was that? That sounds like... No! It's a bomb! Everyone get back! Ah! Oh. Great. Literal trap. <laughs> Gats is the... Holy mother of... What in Aeus' name? Hey, you guys okay? Holler if you hear me! Damn it, I don't think I can shout for all this rubble. I have to go tell the others. Call the other- well, the not army, you know what I mean. CGF. Call everyone. Gats, you out there? If you can hear us, say something. No good, it's completely caved in. But, but what caused it? I think I heard a strange noise right before it happened. So did I. How did you know it was about to collapse, Noel? Right, about that, I caught a light whiff of gunpowder. That was what tipped me off. It wasn't the sizzling noise, then. Gunpowder? That explains the faint burning smell in the air. Gunpowder is quite rare, though. People seldom use it these days. Though, given how old this mine is, perhaps there were some leftover explosives that detonated? I can't imagine that being the case. Some of that hazardous wouldn't be left behind. I'm fairly certain we just walked into a trap. A trap? You're probably right. What else could it be? Now it makes sense. That would make the hissing Ellie and I heard sparks coming off of a fuse. Probably, yes. The detonation happened right after we came in, so it's likely someone wanted to keep us from retreating, meaning they were watching us from nearby and triggered it remotely. But, but who would do such a thing? Wait, could it have been the same person who destroyed the front gate? That's the soundest theory I can think of. I don't know who we're dealing with, but they got us hook, line, and sinker. No way. D don't worry, we can still call for backup on our enigmas.
Um, or maybe not? The orbital signal must not be getting through. I read in the manual that it's difficult to connect in enclosed spaces like these. Well, that's just great. Uh, the good news doesn't stop, does it? It's out of our control. The best thing we can do for now is move forward. There may still be another exit out of this mine. Not to mention we'd be leaving ourselves vulnerable to another attack if we lingered around. You're right. For all we know, those explosives could have been detonated remotely. I suspect Gantz must have gone to call for help. But if we're right where the culprit wants us, we're better off moving elsewhere. It's stay put or going deeper, and both were less than ideal. Could very well be walking into another death trap. Never a dull moment with the SSS, is there? I guess we're not in too deep, if your snark is still intact. There's no turning back now. Our mission is to pull together and escape this mine alive. Yes. Where's we? Roger that. You can now use burst in battle? Burst can be... I just saw what corner of the screen this is about to inhabit. God damn it. Burst can be activated when the burst gauge is full and all four party members can act. The effect lasts until the gauge depletes. The gauge increases when attacking and decreases when attacked. Furthermore, a full gauge will eventually drop a level if left unused. To activate burst, highlight the attack command and press... Right, okay. Act instantly. No cast time. Recover all ailments. Interrupt enemy arts crafts. Cool. Only when it's full. Each chapter features climactic story events in which you will be able to use burst. <laughs> when the burst gauge at the top right of the battle screen is full, you can select the burst command. Your party will then dominate the turn order until the gauge has been depleted. During this time, all allies will be cured of status ailments, receive a 20% boost to their attack power, and generate CP automatically. Furthermore, arts that would normally take time to cast will be activated immediately. Additionally, the burst gauge is a reflection of your party's collective morale. It increases each time an ally attacks and fills more quickly when attacking consecutively via team rush. Conversely, the gauge will decrease when attacked by an enemy and go down by one level if burst goes unused for multiple turns despite the gauge being at its maximum. Lastly, be aware that burst cannot be activated while one or more party members are knocked out. Information about burst has been added to the detective notebook. Well, I guess we're going to see like a little bit popping out here. I guess that'll be the full part of it, too. So it's not going to be too bad, but it's going to be a burst gauge about me. Yes. Oh, these barrels aren't blow upable. Uh, oh, I was going to say, you an augment one? Well, which way to go? F oh, we don't even get a map. Great. Yeah, we'll just go towards... Uh, this place. Scorpions and mushrooms. Yes. I don't know where to go first. Yes. Yes. Oh, there. It's about me now. You can see that. You can see the end of it. We've already got it, by the way. It's already full up. Ah. Ah. Oh no, it's not full up. <laughs> it actually activates from left to from yeah, left to right. That's annoying. <laughs> Should I be moving the camera ever so slightly downwards now for this? <laughs> burst! Successive attacks will fill the burst gauge. When it's full, using the burst command from the menu will activate burst for a set number of turns. Well, I can't use it. <laughs> We're fine. Equally, I can tell you when it's full. Obviously, I'm not going to skip that mushroom because any experience we get is good. Oh my god, death... Oh! It better be called like a death cargo or something. Death cargo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That skull on it. Oh, I didn't scan anyone, did I? I just killed them. S skull go. Okay, that works. I'm cool with that. Okay, so we filled up again. You can now select burst under attack in the battle menu when the burst gauge is full. When activated, allies are cured of abnormal stats and actions to be formed continuously until the burst gauge is depleted. Burst grants 20% extra attack and CP regeneration. Additionally, all allied arts will cast immediately. However, burst can only be activated within a party of four characters, all of whom must be able to act. Yeah, you just told us this. Yeah. Oh, I need to analyze. 
They've got HP on them, by the way. Or defense on them. A terrestrial gastropod that dwells near burial grounds. It parasitizes its prey. So everything I do now activates automatically. And gains extra CP. Yes. So what I'm doing is kind of a waste of this, I feel. I should be looking to do spells, really. That makes casting much more powerful. And the question is, how quickly can we regenerate this gauge? It's only a tiny amount that came up there, then. Did I actually scan the Escogo in the end? Okay, I probably should take out this dude. Maybe it gives you burst every battle you go into. And it's not a carry over based resource. Okay, it's a carry based over based resource. Why? Why do I get this attack now? Oh, he didn't. Yeah, I just can't. I remember it paralyzed the spray, yeah. So when I do those attacks, it should build up faster. So it built up a full bar that time. Well, like one segment. Six segments? That looks like a bigger scorpion. Okay, good. We went the wrong way first. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I will battle scope. This is a Scorpsman, a hardy cave-dwelling monster with neurotoxic venom. It calls allies by lighting up his abdomen. Not like a mating dance, then. The funny thing is, though, this gauge is only going to be here at the very end of chapters, by the sound of it. So it's not even going to be a permanent inclusion. I guess the enemies are slightly harder in here, which wants like to balance this out a little bit. Taking a polka dot dress. 12 or 61. Well, not the villain per se. No, of course not. That was much too harsh. He was only 27 years old. Not yet dulled in spirit by the constant tires and politics tethered to life as an heir. What? Yes. Yes. Polka dot dress. Women only. Cute dress with an original pink polka dot pattern. It's definitely better than what we're wearing. All right, I'll upgrade you to that, and you can go up to the reinforced denim. I want Lloyd to wear my polka dot dress. He's the defensive guy. Yes. Amazing that those aren't breakable. These barrels are real. So I can go underneath me too. It looks like it can go underneath me, right? Yep. But which way's right? <laughs> which way's left? <laughs> there was left, a middle, and a... Are those mushrooms mushrooms, or are those mushrooms enemies? I'm slightly worried if they're just going to come alive or something. Yes. Yeah. That's very irritating. I wanted to get them all with you, but it's probably better for me to use the critical than not. Hmm, will this other guy get an attack in? Yes. We're about to find out what this neurotoxin does. Nothing. Yes. But it can attack at a range that we can't counter. Yes. 
The gauge is almost full, by the way, already. So it's pretty fast. 